Hello YouTube, Arrow Assassin here today, and today I'm going to be talking about classes in WoW in general, so I played this game for a long time, I've seen things come and go over the years like Mana Burn, Insect Swarm, um, let's see what else there's, uh, Trends that have changed now, Nature's Vigil, stuff like that, so overall I'm just going to be talking about stuff like that. This video is going to be stuff that I think should be probably back in the game that I miss. If there is things in this list that are not in there that you disagree with, you could leave me a comment section below and let me know. If you agree with some of these, you can leave it as well. If there's stuff I missed, because I'm probably not going to be going over every single class because it's hard to remember everything, but I'm just going to be thinking stuff that I wish that were, they brought back in general. So you can leave a comment about that. And this is all opinion based of course. So yeah, now that we got pretty much all that out of the way, let's go ahead and start. First class I'm obviously going to start with is Madrid because it's always pretty much been my main for a long time. And yeah, I'll be first covering, uh, covering over Boomkin. So as you can see, Force of Nature is still a talent but in the game, but it taunts people instead of rooting them. This is something I'm very, very unhappy about because Trent has been my favorite spell for a long time now. And I used it in Miss Pandaria, I used it in Warlords. It was just something I loved. And as everybody knows, in Casters and Legion, there's really not much ways you can get people off you. Especially as a Boomkin. Like, you have Barkskin, which is pretty much laughable. And... You have roots, but you still have to cast it with melee. You could fake cast, but there's just so many different ways and stuff in this game, so that stops. But anyways, that's beside the point. So I wish they could get rid of the stupid taunt. Like nobody would even use that in PVE. I don't know anybody that uses that, and put back the roots because I would go back to that in a heartbeat. I wish they would hands down bring this back. There's some other things I wish they brought back, but overall. I think Force of Nature is probably the number one thing that I could wish back in this game as a Boomkin. Anything else, I could live without, like Nature's Vigil and having both Incarnation and Celestial Alignments to have both, you either pick one or the other. I just would wish overall to take um, Force of Nature back. Alright, so moving on to um, Feral Druid. Feral Druid is really the only thing, just like Boomkin, that I wish would be brought back. And that is Cyclone. And if you played in the other expansion packs, you knew Cyclone was in the game for Feral. And, of course, for some reason, they gave it to all the other specs, of course, except, I think, Guardian. And, um, there's no Cyclone. So, you pretty much all you have is a CC, is Mighty Bash, and your, um, Mom, of course. Let's see if I can find it real quick. It's under him. There he is, Mom. Alright, so yeah, those are the only two things you have as CC right now. So, if there's one thing that I wish they could also bring back is Cyclone for Feral. So Cyclone for Feral, Trent's for, Trent Root, I should say, is for Boomkin. So, hopefully one day they'll end up actually bringing this back. Next I want to talk about Guardian. I, I would talk about Restro, but I haven't played it that much, and there's probably different ways to, I don't know, there's really not much change I feel like in Restro over the years, it's pretty much always been the same, but I think they should bring back Mr. Pandaria Guardian or Warlord Guardian, those were the two times I actually enjoyed Guardian, I never really was a fan of the, um, what it's like now, Frenzy Regeneration, I don't like how the way it's, it, it works right now, um, I don't like how Thrash, you have to have it as an artifact pal a talent in order to actually slow people. The damage is absolutely garbage. I mean, that's also another reason. And let's see what else there is. I don't really like Iron Fur or Mark of Ursula. So, I don't really like those either. There's tons of... I just don't like overall the whole Guardian change. I wish they kind of would change it the way it was in Pandaria. As I liked Guardian then. As everybody knows, Guardian was overpowered then, so I'm, I'm not doing it just because of that, but just the whole playstyle. But that's what I think about the whole um, Guardian thing at the moment. So, that's pretty much all I want to say for Dread right now. Just those few things that I wish they would bring back. This is pretty much my wish list. 
So again, you guys are feel free to disagree with me on some of these, or if you want to add more, that's fine too. Or if you do like these changes that I bring up, then let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the next class. Alright guys, I'm not a huge expert person, but the next uh, expert about DKs than me, but the next class I do want to talk about is DKs. There's really only one thing I would like to add back to DKs, because I'm not really completely a huge DK person that I'm not, I don't really know much about DKs, I'll fly out in a minute. I'm, I'm a complete noob when it comes to DKs, but in order to help out our fellow DKs out here, I feel like the one thing they should return is presences. Blood Presence, Frost Presence, Unholy uh, DK Presence. I feel like this pretty much added a whole lot more to DKs than what it currently does right now. So if there's one thing I could bring back for all you DK players out there, I think the Presences would be out there. I mean, if you guys disagree with me, that's fine too. But I think like it was pretty much a whole part of the class. And to have that for so long and just to have it pruned, I feel like it was not like the best idea. And I just feel like they should bring it back. I don't know if they, they probably will someday, I don't really know. I, I really don't know. They just pruned so much, same as their expansion pack. I, I won't even be surprised if we're losing more next expansion after Legion, so. That is pretty much my thoughts on it, currently right now. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I just don't really know a whole lot about DKs to remember what else is gone other than the presences. So, I'm trying to remember everything that's been so long, so... Hopefully one day they'll bring back the presences. That's pretty much all about it for the DK's class, for my thoughts on it. And... I'll move on to the next class. Alright guys, up next I want to talk about is Warlock. Basically... I am... I don't know really what to say much about Warlock. The last time I seriously probably enjoyed Warlock was in Wrath of the Lich King as well as Pandaria. Other than those two times, I feel like I haven't really enjoyed Warlock as much. The reason why I say this is because I like the playstyle as Demology back in Wrath of the Lich King compared to how it is now in the past expansions. I think it was back then it was the most fun. Also in uh, Pandaria, War uh, no, um, Warlocks, I mean, <laughs> no, I was going to say Warlords, but Warlocks, Destruction was actually a very fun spec. It back when Chaos Bolt was actually deadly, unlike how it is now. Warlords it was kind of deadly too, but it was still hard with some of the melee back then, but when you got it off it was pretty nice as well. So, now for the spells I think that should be back in the game, well some of them are. I feel like Demon Skin, or not Demon Skin, but the, um, that shield Warlocks have right now, I think Soul Leech or something, you get a shield plus the Dark Pack right now. I feel like you shouldn't stack those, I feel like they should give you one of them at least like maybe dark pack and then they should bring back demonic circle from this channel tree and put a baseline as well as give demonic gateway to all warlock specs I feel like it should be like how it was back then for Pandaria where warlocks had that and they had the shield if they wanted to and they had all those that can actually get away from melee so that's what my thoughts are for uh, warlock right now I know warlocks not one of my main classes that I play and some of you that are sub to me have a warlock main so if you disagree with me on this or agree with me on it or you want to put your own ideas into it let me know in the comments below I would like to hear from you guys and yeah that's pretty much all my thoughts are on warlock right now and I'll see you for the next class in a second alright guys up next I'm going to be talking about is beast mastery hunter or hunter in general I should say is that every hunter spec should have traps uh, it, that's just this beyond stupidest decision I've ever seen in my life that Blizzard has taken away even from other classes like it's kind of like DK presences why remove something that hunters should automatically have traps like they're hunters they should have traps so that is the first thing hunters should have next I would like to point out is Beast Mastery I have loved Beast Mastery for a long time in fact Hunter was my first class in this game. Like it really was the first class I ever started in this game, so very very long ago. And to see what they did to the spec is absolutely sad. Like I have not even liked B 
Beast Mastery much at all this expansion pack. I haven't even liked Hunter at all in general this expansion pack. But the loss of traps, it's just very depressing. And if they could just give back one thing to Hunters, I would wish it to be traps. Like, give the class traps back. That's pretty much all I would ask for. I know you could add a whole lot more, but if I could give one wish to each class this um, to bring one back, one thing back, I would say traps. Like, that's pretty much what I would want to bring back. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much what I think about Hunters right now. And let's go on to the next class. Alright guys, up next is Rhett Paladin. I am aware of how strong they currently are at the moment. And they're definitely one of the strongest melee. Because I've seen so many more Rhett's lately than ever. But from what I'm speaking for this class is that I think the Warlord's version of Rhett Paladin was actually better than the current Legion Rhett Paladin at the moment. So that's my current thoughts on um, Rep Alley at the moment. Um, they haven't really had too much pruned other than the whole ranged ability stuff. So that's pretty much what I think about Rets right now. And I just hope that maybe one day they'll bring back the whole ranged idea of Rep Paladins. Because I like the whole kiting thing as Rep better playstyle. And I noticed a lot of people on the forums do as well. There's some mixed opinions. Some people like this better. Some people like the other one better. I know my Rhett main friend would rather have Warlords placed it out better. So I think the whole idea with Rhett right now is I think they should bring back the Warlords playstyle slash Pantera playstyle. Because it seems more fun than the one it is right now. So that's just my thoughts on um, Rip Halley. I don't really have a specific ability they should bring back because none of it has really been pruned. I mean, there's some abilities that have been pruned, but not really a whole lot. So I can't really speak for that. So if you're a red main and you wish to bring back an ability, you can leave a comment section below. And yeah, so moving on to the next class. All right, guys, up next is Fire Mage. If there's one thing I could bring back for um, Fire Mage right now, I would say it would be slows because I think fire damage is actually pretty weak right now and you can't really do much kiting as a fire mage I feel like, at least versus melee. And like I said the damage is actually kind of low I feel like a little bit right now. But if there's one thing I could bring back for fire mage it would probably be the slows. Because playing without the fire mage solos right now kind of sucks. I'm so I've been so used to that since um, Warlords played that for so long that it's been just a habit. And playing without it, I'm still even not used to it. And I actually am 110 on this tune already. So that's pretty much it, guys. I know I missed some classes, uh, Rogue, because I don't really want to speak to that class because of reasons and. I'm not really a huge warrior person, so I don't want to speak for that class either. Um, I'll probably just leave that to people like Bajira and uh, Swifty and all those people that actually mean warrior. And Monk, there's really, again, not much prune from that class. A nimble Brew is like the only thing I'd probably bring back because it's the only thing pruned. And um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys later.